Yes, now children, let's see the second example. I have written here a number 252 divided by 5. And I know there are a lot of confusion regarding this question. How to do? The first digit is less than 5. So we will be taking two digits at a time. 5 in 5 table where 25 is. 5 fives are 25. You all know this. Isn't it? Now when you subtract this 25 from 25 you get 0. Now the next digit is 2 which comes down. Let me write it down too. Now many of the children they do write 2 is the remainder. But this is completely wrong. This is the question you brought down. How can the question be remainder? So before declaring that this is the remainder, you have to multiply and see whether it is it can be divided or not. Like uh, we have to find out the multiplication fact for 5. 5 ones are 5. So, it is getting more. So, go down. Always we know that we will be going for the smaller one. 5 ones are 5. So, less than 1 is 0. 5 zeros are 0. Now, you subtract 2 minus 0 is 2. This 2 now becomes the remainder. But this is the question. Do not write remainder at this place. Now you will ask, Miss, this is also 2, this is also 2. Why we won't write remainder here? Why we will write after subtracting 0? This is because if you write it here, remainder, the quotient will be looking as 5 whereas the quotient is 50. 5 50s are 250 and the remainder 2 you add. I will show you by checking. You will be uh, clear when we will go for checking. Now D into Q plus R. Let us do it. This D is 5 into quotient is 50 plus remainder is 2. Let us check. 5 zeros are 0. 5 fives are 25. 250 then plus remainder 2. So 250 plus 2 is 252. This I have done it without a rough work. You can go for a rough work. I will tell you later on how to do this in your copy. 50 into 5, 5 zeros are 0, 5 fives are 25. Then with this add the remainder 2, that is 252. This is all about solving such a question. Mark it as important.